whistleware players, when it comes to modern fighting games, there are three things you can always expect. One, rollback netcode is a must moving forward. Two, expect rage quits. Those are bound to happen. No way, bro. And three, no matter what, a game will always receive a balance patch. And patches can be a pretty big deal. At the time of this recording, Street Fighter 6 is still awaiting its major balance patch and some players are really going through it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Guilty Gear Strife has received numerous patches since the game launched, including adding a new mechanic, which is Wild Assault, and even giving characters new moves. Whether a patch is made to nerf an overpowered character or to buff an overly weak character, there's no denying that balance patches are a way to make the game feel fresh again. But there's one thing that's been around for thousands and thousands of years, longer than any online fighting game, and yet hasn't received any balance patches, and yet still feels fresh and new. That thing, of course, being the Bible. The Bible is God breathed, and what that means is that whatever God promises, will always stay the same no matter what. It doesn't matter the translation of the Bible, the core message will always stay the same. God loves you and he will never let you down. I would say the closest thing there is to a patch to the Bible is with most translations, there might be revisions made to them to either aim for more accuracy or to change the language to be a little bit easier to read. For example, there's one translation called the New American Standard Bible, and in 2020, they actually updated their Bibles with a 2020 edition from their 1995 edition, which means that it hasn't been changed since 1995. And from this one website, they've documented all the changes that were made between the 1995 version and the 2020 version. And I don't know about you, but this definitely looks like patch notes to a fighting game. That's just one example. And I'm not here to say whether these are good changes or bad changes. What I will say is that unlike with fighting games where you're forced to update to whatever the latest patch is, with Bibles, you can always either choose another translation or you can choose the same translation but a different edition. So you can choose to read a previous edition if you're not a fan of the changes to the newest edition. But regardless, the core of the Bible is still the same now as it was thousands upon thousands of years ago where the meta of the world is constantly changing and things that were acceptable back 5-10 years ago are no longer acceptable nowadays and vice versa, who can keep up with it? But as Christians, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. And God's promises are still the same. And they don't need to be patched. And well, that's gonna be it for this video. Comment down below, in what fighting game does a character need to be buffed or nerfed badly? And what does it mean to you that God's word always stays the same no matter what? If you're looking for a non-dominational church, down in the description below will be a link to our church locator. If you're interested in studying the Bible or you just want to hang out, the link to my Discord is also down below. Alright, first new video of the new year. And we got plenty more coming and we're really close to hitting 100 videos and if you haven't seen the community tab i did say that there is gonna be a little bit of a change coming and i'm a little nervous but also kind of excited we'll see how it goes but guys thank you so much for watching and until next time peace